This is dedicated to Joseph Davis, my father. My father made me the man that I am. My father taught me how to stand up. My father taught me about racism. My father served my country, my brother served my country, my nephew, and I served my country. I'm an honorably discharged veteran of the United States Navy. That's me. All right, honorably discharged. 1979. My father served in World War II. All right. We talking about the money behind the corruption, racism. And racism don't work without black cooperation. That's Judge Bell. Judge Bell know all about this. We talking about the money from black bodies. That's me. That's Schellenberger. And that's the money you make off of black bodies. My daddy taught me about racism. Taught me about Emmett Till, Jim Crow, Medgar Evers, Martin Luther King, Fred Hampton. Y'all was killing black leadership and black activism for a long time, and my father taught me about that. Because I'm my father's son. I'm a soldier. He a sailor. I'm a sailor. And we're gonna sail into the we're gonna sell into the truth. We talking about the money behind the machine. Brandon Scott, Kwaisi and Fume. And I use the toilet to expose y'all's corruption because you go to jail, we got to share that toilet. It's my whistleblower's application. I gave a whistleblower's application. President Trump got it, the Senate Judiciary, the House Judiciary, the Supreme Court. That's my father. My father grew up with Robert Sabanjan. That's Robert Sabanjan Jr., Mayor Sabanjan. And we're going to talk about the corruption in Lake County, Illinois. Because I learned about the corruption in Lake County, Illinois, and I took that blueprint from Lake County, and I used it right here in Baltimore. I showed you the art of getting money, and I used the toilet to do it. My store was financing my activism, all right? And we was talking about the corruption. Ed Norris, yeah, we was talking about selling seats and selling out power. I've been doing this for a long time. Ask Ed Norris. Y'all go to Ed Norris, and he's supposed to be the voice of the community, and he do the king of corruption. Y'all mad because I used the toilet on y'all. I used the toilet. You go to the NAACP today. The NAACP. I gave you Frederick Douglass. I gave you Malcolm X. I gave you Martin Luther King. But in 2021, I'm going to give you the Supreme Court. I'm going to give you Thurgood Marshall. That's me. Falls Road. 2007 the prison industry see that Julian Bond NAACP I'm gonna use tape and glue and I'm gonna do what I do but like I said NAACP got this if you go to the legal defense fund right now I have a paperwork It's right in the NAACP my paperwork been in the NAACP since 2006 Benjamin Jealous had this, all right? I want Scott Schellenberger, and I'm getting ready to turn up the temperature on y'all. I'm getting ready to turn up the temperature on y'all. Y'all want to protect Scott Schellenberger and white supremacy? Well, we're going to take a toilet tour. Yeah. That's my political soapbox, Jack. And I've been talking about the Democratic Party showing you how shitty they is. It's my birthday on the 26th of December. Y'all made me famous for toilets. I'm getting ready to run with that. We're going to make red toilets, blue toilets, yellow toilets, green toilets. We're going to show the, the money behind the machine. A toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. And we're going to take that toilet to the Supreme Court or we're going to take it to the grand jury. See that? If you can't see it, that's the officer... Uh, that did the stop snitching video. Yeah. That's 2014. Ghosts from your past gonna open up doors to your future. Like I said, Operation Dominoes. 2014, I ran for office. 2014, I ran for office as Lieutenant Governor, a black Lieutenant Governor. I ran against Boyd, Boyd Rutherford and Governor Hogan. And everything Governor Hogan got, he gonna have to give up. Because like I said, we're going to the Supreme Court. I'm going to give you Frederick Douglass. I'm going to give you Malcolm X. I'm going to give you Medgar Evers. I'm going to give you strong black men in America. 
and we're going to do it in the courts, the Supreme Court or the, or the grand jury. That's Senate Bill 274. I mean, that's on law. That Senate bill is on law. See that? Baltimore Ethical Society, shorty. And we marched them toilets in the Ethical Society parade. All right? I'm using toilets, product, market, product merchandising and marketing, marketing and distribution. That's Adrian Jones. And that's the letter from Johnny Oleski asking for the Department of Justice to investigate my incarceration. All right? That's Senate Bill 374. And I'm going to put all my information on here for the grand jury on Brandon Scott's sign. But directly to President Trump, I got my dog collar on him. Go to President Trump before he get out of office and get my information. I am Dred Scott. I gave you Martin Luther King. I gave you Malcolm X. On February the 7th, I applied for Martin Luther King's job and you locked me up. Governor O'Malley locked me up. Brandon Scott participated in that. We going to the Supreme Court with this. Because like I said, hearing set for man believe wrongfully convicted. That's from 1986. That's a 1986 jailhouse diary. And the state took that diary. Right here. Mr. Dion. I went home on vacation. I came back on probation. Ms. Dion only lied to the grand jury and presented false evidence to the grand jury, and the state participated in that fraud, the state of Maryland and the state of Illinois, witness victim. She lied to the police and lied to the grand jury. Like I said, fired county attorney McElroy loses unemployment compensation appeal. I told y'all I was coming after y'all's money. That's from 1986. Fast forward. 2011, few systematic corruption cases made it against cops. I blew the whistle on y'all, and the reason it didn't make it was because the Baltimore Sun, Brent Jones, the Baltimore Sun, Justin Fenton, the Baltimore Sun in general didn't print the story right. They accused me of terrorism. I was telling you about Brandon Scott. I was telling you about Bill Henry. I was telling you about the corruption in the courts and the corruption here in Maryland. That's the Waukegan Police Department. Like I said, I went home on vacation. I came back on probation. And I fought these charges. I fought these charges. So in 2021, we get the grand jury of the Supreme Court. My paperwork is in the Supreme Court's hands. I'm a whistleblower. And that's Peter Frankot. That's 2015. Forged checks from 2008. All right. Y'all got to produce them forged checks. Like I said, I gave you the minority report. You get the grand jury or you get the Supreme Court because that's Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C., 2013. I gave him Ed Norris. I gave him your racism. Hispanics for justice. Yeah, I gave him everything. Taxation without representation is a violation of my constitutional rights. Y'all are taxing me for property that I don't own. Y'all are taxing me to be in business and you won't give me back my property. Kwaisi and Fumi has all of this. That's Elijah Cummings. Prison industry, whistleblower. Prison industry, whistleblower. Congressman Cummings. These is my sons. Y'all talking about the murder and the death that's going on? Well, that's my son. He participated in that back in the 2000 and... Mm, 2005, I had him locked up. I turned him in. Yeah, I had my son arrested. And you had to talk to Neil too. Both my sons was in the system here in Baltimore. Yeah. We wanted a ceasefire to end the war on drugs because the war on drugs was the root of the problem. And my sons to tell you that. My son used to sell heroin and shit over on shit, Saratoga. He used to do it over on Cary Street. That's Neil and that's Philip. Like I said, I was making a movie. The movie's about Governor O'Malley and his mom machine. Yeah. We're talking about the evil that men do. We're going to talk about the money behind the machine. So I'm getting ready to put all of this information. Because that's me. I'm the owner. You kidnapped a, a businessman. A black owned business. I was insured against acts of terrorism. I was insured against acts of terrorism. And you committed an act of terrorism.
Scott Schellenberger committed an act of terrorism. Like I said, I'm getting ready to turn the heat up. Scott Schellenberger, Marilyn Mosby, Nick Mosby, the Democratic Party, y'all been making a lot of money off of stop and frisk and zero tolerance. Baltimore County ain't under the dissent decree. I got inmates to make a class action lawsuit against Scott Schellenberger and the Baltimore County government. Yeah, because y'all been shielding it. At the conclusion of a trial, the defendant is supposed to get his property back. You didn't return my property. The Constitution, the Fifth Amendment, says I'm supposed to be compensated freely, duly, and expense and the convenience of my government. That's the toilet. And we're going to talk about that shit. That's the toilet. That's the toilet. We're going to talk about Donnie Moses and the Baltimore City Police Department. 2014. And we're going to talk about Senate Bill 374, Access to the Grand Jury. And we're going to have Scott Schellenberger in front of the Grand Jury. We're going to have Mayor Moxley from Lake County, Illinois, in front of the Grand Jury. We're going to have Chief Hyatt and a state prosecutor in front of the Grand Jury showing you how you've been shielding this corruption. We're going to get everything from President Trump before he leave office. He want to make America great again? He got to address America's hate again. He created this shit. He got to deal with this shit. We're going to go to Johnny Oleski. He's going to be a witness. Johnny Oleski going to be a witness. Megan Pringle going to be a witness. Johnny Oleski's chief of security is going to be a witness. And Marilyn Mosby going to be a witness or defendant. You can choose your poison. Senate Bill 374. State's Attorney's Office had it since 2016. I gave it to it in 2014. Senate Bill 374. I'm doing what my father taught me. He taught me how to fight. Y'all took money from me and y'all owe me. You feel me? $2.6 million. And we talking about the money you make off of stop and frisk and zero tolerance. We talking about Bobby Zirkin, Judge Turnbull, Judge Turnbull's law firm, Bobby Zirkin's law firm. We talking about the money you make off black bodies. And I stood up and told you about it. And I used the toilet to do it. This is art and activism. It's the art of getting money. Shorty Davis Anti-art You feel me? That's Nadrat, that's Sharon, that's me, that's Boom Yeah, and that's Nadrat's father Champions for justice And it ain't gonna be just us I built a Sign with O'Malley on it. I did one with uh, shit. Did one with O'Malley. Did one for Schellenberger, and then y'all locked me up in in 2011. It's getting ready to be 20, 20, 21, 10 years later. So I'm going to resubmit all my evidence to the state's attorney's office. The Department of Justice already got this. I'm a whistleblower on the courts and the criminality in the courts, just like the Khalif Browder story. Yeah. I made a movie about Lake County, Illinois, Angelo Kyle, Sam Cunningham, Mary Cunningham, Mayor Rockingham, Mayor Hyde, Mayor Moxley, Mayor Sabanjan, Mayor Sabanjan Jr. Y'all been making money off black bodies for too long. I've been in the streets since 1972. In 1979, I was Iran Contra. Our ship, the USS Mississippi, transported drugs. If you look at my DD-214, don't ask, don't tell, ain't just for gays in the military. I dealt in prostitution, loan sharking, gambling, and transporting drugs. My record is not no, no, no mystery. So when I started this movie, I was talking about Iran-Contra. I was talking about the war on drugs. I was talking about Fluky Stokes. I was talking about Al Capone. I was talking about OGs, Larry Hoover, Jeff Fort, Chicago. Yeah. I used to sell drugs from Milwaukee to Chicago, Ohio, and I was an independent. I didn't run with the gangs. I did it on my own. I made money. It makes sense now. Brandon Scott, this is your life. Because I'm getting ready to put your whole political career on here. Your whole political career. Since Governor O'Malley picked you and you want to continue to do Governor O'Malley's dirty work, and you do Governor O'Malley's dirty work. I got my top, my dog calling on President Trump. Everything I said, President Trump got. He tied to this. 
Like I said, in the name of Martin, we're going to stand like kings.